this is Igor from Diva Broadcast, uh, and we are now here in this boring Sunday uh, in Moscow, in Russia, in office of our partners Perspectiva, uh, with uh, our other partner Tract, and the mic uh, from Tract will be my uh, cameraman today. Hi there. Okay, let's take a quick look into our box. So um, it looks very, very similar to our previous generation. It's actually a third generation of our uh, monitors. So uh, it looks very similar on the front panel uh, comparing to the older 4004. So we still have an ability to um, uh, monitor our MPX on our front panel. So this is our, our uh, main menu control. So this is still here. So the most important and interesting because here it's on, on, on the rear panel. So uh, we now have two antenna inputs. So this unit has two SDR digital receivers. So, uh, so we can uh, have a good use out of them uh, when I'll explain it later. So, and also we have an MPX input. So with this MPX input, you basically can uh, take your monitoring uh, output of your transmitter connecting to it and also um, measure and listen. So, of course, we still have our AES outputs, and uh, including consumer grade, SPD, uh, low level, uh, low voltage level, digital, or even optical. We have analog balanced audio outputs. We still have a GSM modem connector, so if you connect an optional GSM modem to it, so it will be able to send you a text message. Uh, we able to use um, uh, our USB uh, control, so you can connect uh, to the unit using USB cable net network, so you can remote controllable uh, your remote controllers for this device and uh, alarm out, so GP out, GP out uh, alarms for that. So um, let's connect it quickly. I'll put the antenna one right here. Starts up very fast with a couple of seconds. It's already online. It's already receiving. So, and we have our front panels as usual controls. So you can have your measurements for your MPX, the pilot level, the div, the M, M, div, deviation, uh, positive or negative. So just clicking this button you have all these different management accessible from the front panel. Left and right, left plus right, and also the last, the audio loss, you can have a, a small red uh, indicator from here. So, um, and of course your front panel display shows you lots of information. So, you not only can have uh, the preset, the frequencies defined for these four buttons, you can also have access to the all um, technical data that your receiver can bring to you. So the graphs, the oscilloscope, so uh, this is all accessible here. Just look at that, the stereo, right? So this is all uh, accessible here. So let's go. Let's go. So the graphs go down. See MPX level, left, right, this all here on the sliding graph window. So this is all as usual accessible here technical parts the ip address so this is very easily and quickly accessible from the front panel all this important data um levels so you also can scroll down through all this and see all this technical parameters that you're receiving on your um on your tuner so let's go right here so uh that's one of the way of the controls the, another way of the controls uh, we uh, have web interface, uh, and I'll discuss it later. But additionally to that, we have a, a very important uh, piece of the software we call the Deva Device Manager. This is the software that allows you to see and monitor several devices, several DB4005, and additionally, it can see uh, our other products such as Radio Explorer, and monitors its parameters uh, on a map in the real time. So you can see the status of your devices in real time. This is free of charge software downloadable from our web page, so you can uh, use it and uh, download and use it anytime, so uh, anytime you want. So, all right, let's take a look on the web interface. Okay, let's take a quick look on the controls uh, of DB4005. So of course you can have a controls on the front panel, but the most important and uh, 
uh, the most convenient access to the, all the parameters of the uh, DP4005 is the web interface. This is a still HTML5 based interface, so uh, absolutely operating system and browser independent. Uh, you can even try to use it with a mobile device. So you open it up, you log in, and you see already right away uh, the technical parameters that you're receiving on your Tuner 1 antenna. So you see your RF, you see your multipath, your positive and negative MPX uh, level, your left and right decoded, left plus right, left minus right. What is new, we now measure loudness. Loudness by uh, BS7070 uh, and, and, uh, or ABU R128. Uh, pilot level is here, RDS level is here. Very important is then you, you actually can listen remotely to the uh, station you are receiving. So this green button allows you uh, to listen to the station. So you just tune it up and click this button. And now you hear it plays. So, um, and again, this is entirely uh, browser independent. So additionally, you can switch from your antenna inputs to the MPX input uh, from uh, monitoring output of your transmitter. So this is all possible. So uh, the other controls here is as follows. So you can, you can go and see your MPX histogram is here, your DBRs, MPX power is here. That's the new button, the loudness. So uh, on the loudness, you'll have a um, two minute sliding window with the integration time. Here is a set on a 30 seconds, but you can have set it less or uh, more. Now, of course, you can reset it. And uh, you, of course, you can switch your uh, measurements from uh, ABU R128 to uh, DS1770. So all these possibilities right here. Your graphs, your FM graphs as usual is here. RDS, left, right, multipath, MPX, they're all here. You can switch on and off if you don't need anything. So this is a still here is and very convenient uh, to switch on and off. Your RDS uh, parameters, uh, what you have on the RDS, all the groups of the parallel, this is all here. So you can see it uh, along with the station data uh, is all here, all the metadata. Um, RTA, RTB, radio text, this, this comes, all comes here. FFT, in the real time, you see it. Left, right, pilot, carriers, RDS level, you see it here. Right away in, uh, in the real time. You can switch just left, just right, it's all here. It's all uh, very easy uh, to set, very flexible. Your scope, your oscilloscope is here. So. You can look full MPX, just left or right. So it's all it's all right here. Or your stereo lens. So you can see how wide is your stereo. Your quick band scan. So it's useful if you want to see uh, how the, the dial looks. So you can see all the peaks here. These, all these Moscow stations is all right here so you can easily figure out hey quickly look and see oh that's that's here there's another station and another so you can understand uh what is the dial and uh on the upper right corner you see the frequency so oh okay so with 10250 this would be a station that, that's right this would be a station so all the status including a gsm modem status is all displaced on the status and the log so if anything happens with the unit Turning on and off, logging and out, and this is all stores here in the log. Uh, and so the most important, and uh, this is uh, why we have uh, two tuners. So the, of course, the main purpose of the unit is a monitor your station. So you can set up to 50 stations. Let me go quickly to the logger section. It is here. You define the frequencies here. Just let's go inside one and see. So. Um, you can define the name, the frequency, the acquisition time, so how long we look into the, this particular frequency, uh, and email. So uh, you can define the email of the person that responsible for this dairy station. So you can monitor like 15 stations because you own a transmitter site, but 
for this frequency, you need to send a message to Steve. For other frequencies, you need to send a message to John. So that's all uh, here. You can define the email of the person that is responsible for that station. And uh, what would, what parameters we monitor? We do monitor, we do monitor RF level, we do monitor a pilot level, MPX, MPX power is very important in the PS4 for uh, 12 countries. So uh, left and right, so if you lost left or you overloading your left channel, this is all monitoring. And you actually can define uh, the severity of this warning. So it could be just the alarm, so like you go in a little off the line, but you can, have a way much bigger trouble so you like your deviation is beyond 200 so it is different kind of alarm and so basically you need to run to the transmission site or figure out what's going on right away so that's uh, all the different levels so you can define if you look here on the very small black triangle this is the current current measurements so this is the values in real time right here so you can even even looking on this uh, alarm setup, you can see what are your values here. Uh, so, addition, of course, we can look at RDS level and the groups. So, any groups you lost, it alerts you. Uh, for alerts, we can have an email, we can have an, a text message via optional modem, and uh, SNMP, it's a fully SNMP version 2 compliant device, uh, GPL to GPA uh, general purpose outputs, this is all here. <coughs> so, this is where we define for up to 50 channels, up to, up to 50 different stations uh, this unit can look at. So, uh, and since it look continuously on all these stations, right here, basically we should understand that our tuner is already occupied, but we want to have like a better use and uh, say, for instance, we want to look to the other station or to one of our station without breaking the logging loop. So. The unit keeps logging, but we still have an ability to look to the one of the stations and uh, listen to it for a longer period. So like we are tuning up the processor into this station. So without breaking the logging loop, we can listen and monitor the parameters of this very station. Additionally, well, we have a presets here so we can switch to other stations so like, and compare just using the ability uh, of the uh, second tuner into this uh, product, into the new product. So what is also, of course, important that um, uh, on the settings right here, uh, we can define the, uh, our user uh, login and password. So we have uh, the user rights uh, management here. Uh, it monitors its own temperature. So for instance, if your uh, air conditioner is um, running bad, it will notify you. So like you you are too hot, like so it lets you know. So this is all very important. And uh, so this unit is having very, very big value for any broadcaster uh, that needs and to want to make sure he's transmitting right. So uh, that's in short, uh, uh, that's all in short. If you have any questions, just log into our website, shoot us email. I'll be happy to answer any questions. So I hope it's been useful. Thank you very much and goodbye. Yeah.